Okay, today we're finally going to do the thing that we actually wanted this for. And it's to see if we can plug in the diesel heater on the 12 volt uh, socket, plug it into the 12 volt socket of a portable power station and see if it'll run. See if the 10 amps is actually enough 10 amps to run this bad boy. So we're going to set this where you can fucking see it, which is here. My wires aren't are my wires long, long enough. My wires aren't long enough. So we'll scooch this over a bit. And we're going to plug it in, in here. Red light up, face front towards the enemy. Okay, that's plugged in. We'll press the button and turn it on. That's good. The light has come on. The diesel heater is on. Can you see the lights? You can, right? So, well, without much uh, further ado, let's fire up. On she goes. All right, that's on. And can I zoom you in on the display of the power supply? Can you see it? Let me zoom you in there. There we go. So you can watch the output wattage. And I could, so I'm going to check the voltage while we're here as well, because with these uh, terminals you can plug in the holes and go straight into the power. So it's currently outputting 13.01 volts, it's hovering 0.5. So it's outputting 13 volts at the moment, we'll say, give or take 13. 13 volts. Do you want me a clamp, clamp meter as well while I'm here? Let me just select DC, zero out. So, yes, it's currently outputting seven amps at the moment. Does that work? Can you do maths? 99 watts at 13 volts, seven amps. Does that sound right to anybody? I can zoom you out again now, right. Zoom you out. That's good, you still can't see the display on my multimeter. Right, that's doing seven amps, can you see that? You just about. Pump's running. Diesel here is running. Right, can I bring this over? Can you see? Can you see this? Is that in shot? There we are, 13 volts. We're now up to 100 and, 112 watts. Now it's got the fan and the glow plug around. Drop them to 12.9. So my question is going to be, or we're going to have to find out, is how much does the 12 volt drop in relation to the charge state of the battery? I know with the lithium ion stuff, they've got a very flat voltage curve where they stay a nice curve voltage and then they drop off at the end. So I don't know how that relates to the 12 volt output because our problem here is we need some way of disconnecting the fuel supply so it can do a full shutdown but still have enough power left in it to run the shutdown procedure and run the fan long enough for it to cool down because as we know we do not want it to just die on us and cook everything because there we are it's staying at 13-ish volts So we'll let this run. There, there goes the glow plug. The glow plug is off now. So power consumption has dropped away down to, oh, still dropping, even though the fan's getting faster. It'll catch back up again in a minute once the fan's up to full speed. We'll let the fan run up to full speed and then we'll take a reading of the wattage. Okay, we've got red bars on the temperature display, all the red bars, so that's us now running at full temperature and full power. And the display on the Jackery power station, it fluctuates between 25 and 38 watts. So let's take a worst case scenario. Let's take a worst case scenario of 40 watts. On his calculator. So 40 watts divided by the, we'll just round it down to 240 watt hours. Except that's wrong, David. Maths goes the other way. 
you're 240 hours divided by 40 watts. So this little power station would run you here for about six hours. Okay, we have seen that the Jackery uh, power, portable power station can supply the 10 amps required to start and run the heater. We've worked out that it can roughly run it for a... Uh, Wait, have we worked this out? Have I done this bit of the maths? Wait, let's let's do the bit of the maths. Oh, have we done this? 40, 40 watts divided by the 240 watt hours of the thing. S six hours. So six hours you would get out of this. Basically, if you could charge it fully during the day with the solar panels, then you could run it all night uh, in your heater. Bearing in mind that that's running at full power, so you probably get a longer run time once your area is heated up and the diesel heater has gone down to the lower power mode. So you would get uh, probably a longer run time out of that. So how does that compare to a Makita battery of your own choosing? I know this is a three, I have a three in my hand, but I've done the maths with a five. So uh, let's, you can uh, go through the maths with me, make sure I've got this right. So I've gone for a nominal vo voltage of 18 volts from a Makita battery and a claimed 5 amp hour capacity, which gives us 90 watt hours per battery. Oh, that's 90 watt hours, wait, my, uh, aye, 90 watt hours per battery. So, 90 watt hours, so if you could run your heater, so let's just say, let's give it the 40 watts. So, run 40 watts, give or take. 40 watt hours, no, 90 fucking watt hours out of battery. 90, 40, so it could run for two and a quarter hours, well we just call it two hours for the sake of maths. So you've got two hours out of one of those batteries. So you'll need three 5 amp Makita batteries to run the same length of time as a portable power station. So on Amazon just now, according to Amazon, uh, I'm Genuine Makita batteries are £70 for the 5 amp hour version, so you need 3 times £70 batteries is £210. So if you're, wanted, if you're going to buy genuine Makita 5 amp hour batteries, you're £210 just for the batteries. Then you've got to buy the power adapters, wire, etc, etc. Build it all, wire up, and then you have your own uh, portable power system for your heater or you buy a portable power station I'm not suggesting you necessarily have to buy the Jackery portable power station other portable power stations are available in various shapes sizes capacities etc but as long as they say they output the 10 amps then it appears that they will output 10 amps quite happily and run display and this Although, actually, uh, pretty much you're going to be paying the exact same for this unit, which at the time of this video, I think is like £250. So you're £250 for this. Uh, you're £210 for the Makita batteries, plus all your extra bits, so you're up to £250. So the, let's just say they cost you both £250 to make the setup. But at least with this, you can run... It's got an inverter, so you can actually you can run mains on it. It's got USB outputs. It's got the ability to be charged via solar panels, as well as the 12 volt output. So, no, if I think if if I was doing it, grant or the other option, of course, is you buy non-genuine Makita batteries. <whistles> Goodbye, meter. We loved you. Anyway. Uh, Oh, there are, your other cheaper option is to buy non-genuine Makita batteries, but I can tell you for now, the non-genuine 5 amp hour Makita batteries are fucking liars. I don't even think they've got as much capacity as some of the threes. They all have the same power output, so just be aware of that, that if you're buying the cheap batteries, you're probably not going to get the rating that you get. Whereas, with this, we've tested a previous video, and it actually has the power capacity or the battery capacity inside that it's supposed to have because we tested it it actually has 240 watt hours so yeah so if i was going to power 
this, uh, you know, and I didn't already have all the bits and bobs from buying and testing, I would probably buy a portable power station simply because you can use it for other things when you're not using it as using your heater, like if you want to go and charge phones or plug your, <laughs> you could plug your charger in for your drill batteries to charge your drill batteries to run your heater. Wow, that's, that's a really long way of doing things. Don't do that. But anyway, the purpose was to see if this could run this and the answer is totally yes. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and thanks for watching.